Blessed is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down upon death. And to those in the tombs, he has granted life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down upon death. And to those in the tombs, he has granted life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down upon death. And to those in the tombs, he has granted life. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful of adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace and invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious in all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O oh Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O oh Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people, be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. The Lord, in your anger, rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have poured into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. My enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who, rendering evil for good, opposed me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. 
My soul shall be filled as with choices fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one. That in the shelter of your wings, I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword. The prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one. That in the shelter of your wings, I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Under your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those who remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathe them to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and, for, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is, is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows how well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man whose days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, in every place of his dominion. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not in the judgment of your servants, since all of the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me. 
<clears throat> for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable priest with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and this city, and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Leotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Anastasios, Kirigma, I could handle Matus, but to Kirium, a three, that in Provonitin, a pofas in a poripsa, this apostolis, Cafomen, Levon, Eskileteos, Ierti Christos o Theos, darume nostro cosmo, to mega epleos. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The joyful news of your resurrection was told to the women disciples of the Lord by the angel. Having thrown off the ancestral curse and boasting, they told the apostles, Death has been vanquished, Christ our God is risen, granting to the world great mercy. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O Lord, midway through the feast, give drink to my thirsty soul from the living waters of right belief. You, O Savior, proclaim to everyone, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. You are the fountain of life, 
O Christ our God, glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary, with Theotokos, all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. On the lips I said to talk for the knees so long, yet if no one to a yellow me fair, who said, a mirror for his syndrome of exist and the leg, who said, are I clapping your tongue, listening, and it's as Ara i erfi o tje propathus, ki rixas ti ne jersi, alithos anesti Christos o Theos, ki senadi parekon zoi ke anastasi. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Savior immortal, as you are from Hades, you rose by virtue of your own resurrection, raising your world together, O Christ our God. Mightily you have broken death's dominion, O Master. You, as the Lord of mercy, show to all the resurrection. We therefore glorify you, who alone love humanity both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, through you became manifest to us on earth the mystery which was hid from eternity and which the angels themselves knew not, that God uniting natures without confusion becomes a man and accepts crucifixion for our salvation voluntarily. By virtue of this resurrecting man whom he had first created, he saved our souls from death. <laughs> Life he won on an ecrab gazettes, Cleuses. Pops and stay meet his trino du cravies, Ecus ai toef simbathiton, on gazitite Cleuse, Tacite, O salithos exegie, Diovate. Tis apostolis, o ti anesti, o kyrios. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your voluntary will, O Savior, you endure the cross, and by mortal men were you into a new tomb interred who by the word had created the entire world. Therefore, being bound was the enemy death, plundered of his spoils catastrophically. And those in Hades altogether cried aloud at your life-bearing resurrection. The Christ is risen, the life bestower, and he abides forever. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. <clears throat> Joseph marveled as he saw that which transcended nature's bonds. Then he brought to mind the dew that had fallen on the fleece at your conception without seed, O Theotokos. The bush that had remained unconsumed in fire, Aaron's rod of all that has blossomed forth, 
as your betrothed and guardian he witnessed before the priest and he cried aloud the virgin gives birth and after childbirth still she remains a virgin <laughs> Θελόντα και εσύ με αυτό τον Αδάμε γύραντα και εξάλλου πάντα ελεύθερο σαν Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the mer-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But an angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. <laughs> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 doxa, si, o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin most Mary. Holy With Theotokos all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
world. Blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The women bearing myrrh hurried to declare the matter of your paradoxal rising to your apostles, O Christ, that as God you arose, granting the world great mercy. You, the haters of Zion, be put to shame by the Lord, for, that, for like that in fire you will be completely dried up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the ages of ages, Amen. From the Holy Spirit, every soul receives life, and through cleansing is lifted and brightened in a hidden sacred manner by the trinal monarch. <laughs> Whosoever has acquired hope in the Lord is superior to all whatsoever might grieve him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit to the streams of grace well forth. They irrigate everything created that life may be engendered. Whereas one has filial affection for his mother, for the Lord we ought to have a love even more fervent. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit is the wealth of the knowledge of God, contemplation and wisdom. For in him the Logos discloses all the dogmas of the Father. Arise, O Lord, and help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. O God, our God, we heard with our ears. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin most Mary. Holy With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. The feast according to the law at its midpoint, O Christ our God, as the creator and master of everything, you said to the, all those who were present there, come that you might draw from me the water of immortality. Hence with faith we cry to you as we prostrate before you. Your tender mercies grant to us, we pray. You are the fountain and source of our life, O Lord. You are the fountain and the source of our life, O Lord. In faith came the woman of Samaria to the well, and she beheld you, who are the water of wisdom. When she had fully drunk thereof, this famous lady inherited the kingdom of God on high for eternity. 
Kingdom cry for eternity. Let us listen to John as he teaches us of divine mysteries that took place in Samaria. How the Lord conversed with a woman after asking her for water. He who collected the waters in their gatherings and who shares the throne with the Father and Spirit. For our famous Savior came seeking his image for the kingdom on high for eternity. For the kingdom on high for eternity. On the 22nd of this month, we commemorate the holy martyr Vasiliskus, nephew of Saint Theodore the Tyro. Vasiliskus giveth his head <coughs> into the cutting, and on the spiritual basilisk's head he treadeth. On the 22nd, Vasiliskus endured the, the sword. On this day, we commemorate the Holy Second Ecumenical, Ecumenical Council, which was assembled in the year 381 and deposed Mac Macedonius, Archbishop of Constantinople, who said that the Holy Spirit is not God. Macedonius, all wicked spirit, dareth to deny the Godhead of the godly spirit. On this day, the holy martyr Marcellus, having been made to swallow molten lead, was perfected in martyrdom. His fiery drink of lead, Marcellus now drinketh, as another man might drink a cup of water. On this day, the holy martyr Pozerus, having been dragged by horses, was perfected in martyrdom. Having spurred on thy horses and passed the mark of heaven, Thou raisest thy hands and receivest the crown, O Kodros. On this day, St. John Vladimir, the wonder worker, king of Serbia, was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. The blood-stained hand of a kinsman doth behead thee. The Lord's hand rightly awardeth thee a laurel. On this day, the holy martyr Sophia, the physician, was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. Sophia had been a physician of bodies, and on being beheaded, now of souls also. On this day we commemorate the holy, glorious, and right victorious and new righteous martyr Paul of the Peloponnesus, who contested in the year 1818. Defeated, defeating in Christ thy profane foes, O martyr, thou didst pass from the earth to a house in heaven. On this day, we commemorate the righteous Melchizedek, king of Salem. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, James of Borovici. On this day, the fifth Sunday of Pascha, we celebrate the feast of the Samaritan woman. Coming to fetch her fleeting water, a woman the living water draws by which you wash her soul's sordes. By the intercessions of your martyr Fotini, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. <clears throat> Come and let us drink a new drink, not one marvelously issuing from a barren rock, but one that Christ from the tomb pours out in corruption's very source. For we are established in him. Now let Habakkuk as a God-inspired prophet stand with us, keeping his divine watch and show us the angelic messenger who shining utters glowingly. Today for the world is salvation because a reason is Christ being omnipotent. For three songs I learned to Matthias, John Dimiru Tony Ibn, Pro 
festival above every festival on which we extol Christ and bless him to the ages. Lord have mercy. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying in the napkin which had been on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. 
for you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. Oh God, an anomies in a living, Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. <laughs> For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You would not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. <laughs> Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Ages of ages, Amen. 
at the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. <laughs> και κατά το πλήθος των νυχτήριμων σου εξαλείψαν το ανώμημά μου. Αναστάσω Ιησούς από του τάπου, καθώς προείπε εδώ κι αν ημί την αιώνιον ζωή και μεγάλη. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers, among the saints, the great hearts, and the ecumenical teachers, Basil, the great Gregory, the theologian, and John Christom, Athanasius, Sir, and John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimitus, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, the victorious, Demetrius, the Mirobled, Theodore, the Tyrion, and Theodore, the general, men as the wonder worker, the Hieromartyrs, Haralambos, and the Lefterios, the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious, Great Martyr, O Lord, Volifemia, the Holy, and Glorious Martyrs, Tecla, Varvara, Anastasia, Katerini, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irini, of our Holy God, Bank Fathers, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. mercy, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of Light. Amen. Πατώντα και τα φέντα και ξαναστάντα τριήμερον εκ τάφου φωτίζου, φωτίζου τη Νέα Ιερουσαλήμ η γαρδόξα Κυρίου επί σε ανέτηλε πόρευεν ίν και αγαλουσιών soul magnify Christ who is the giver of life and who rose from the grave on the third day. Arise, shine, arise, shine, O new Jerusalem, shine, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Zion, exalt and be glad now. O pure Mother of God, rejoice in celebrating the resurrection of Christ, your Son. Through 
Today creation all is exultant and rejoices, for Christ has risen on, and Hades was despoiled. O Pascha, the great and most sacred Passover of Christ, you the wisdom and logos and the power of God, grant that we may more distinctly partake of you on that day that has no evening in your kingly rule. <laughs> Σε μακαρίζω με πίστη, χαίρε πύλη κυρίου, χαίρε πόλη σε έψυχε, χαίρε δυσήμιν, έλαψε σήμερο φως του εξούτεκτέντος της εκ νεκρών αναστάσεως. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O blessed virgin, rejoice, O glorified one. Rejoice, your son is risen from the grave on the third day. Be glad and exultant, O divine gate of the light. For your son, namely Jesus, having sat within the tomb, rose and is shining more brightly than the sun, and he has fully illumined all the faithful, O Lady, full of the grace of God. O Angelos to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Of heaven praise you, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
In the wilderness for the Hebrews, you traveled to Samaria, and with a woman you conversed and asked for a drink of water. Thus you drew her to faith in you, and now in heaven forever she enjoys life eternal. Midway into the feast you came, O lover of humanity, and stood in the temple saying, You who are fed up with thirsting, come to me and draw for yourselves water living and welling up. I tell you that through this you all will surely enjoy divine grace, delight and true life immortal. Shout to you who rose from the dead. Glory to you, O Lord. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. By means of your cross, O Lord, direct us to your truth. O Christ, our Savior, and deliver us from the snares of the foe. You who rose from the dead, raise us who are fallen because of sin, extending your hand, O Lord, who loves humanity, 
at the intercessions of your holy one. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Only begotten Logos of God, while departing not from the Father's bosom. You came to earth for love of humanity, immutably becoming human. And you physically endured the cross and death, although impassable in divinity. Having risen from the dead, you granted the human race immortality as the only Almighty One. Honesty to Theos, ye dias corpis dittos, an ye chria aftu, ye figetos an, apo prosopu aftu, ibisundes aftor. Pascha ieron ipin simeron, ana de dicte, pascha genon agion, pascha mysticon. Pascha pansevasmion, Pascha Christos oditrotis, Pascha momon, Pascha mega, Pascha ton piston, Pascha to pilas, ibin tu paradisu aniksan, Pascha pandas, Αγία Ζων Πισκός. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. Come thou from that sight, O you women and heralds of good news, and say to Zion, receive from us the joyful tidings of the resurrection of Christ. O Jerusalem, be exalted and dance and leap for joy. You who have witnessed Christ the King coming forth as a bridegroom from the sepulchre. Mm, so shall the sinners perish from the face of God and let the righteous be glad. The mere bearing women at dawn very early Standing outside the tomb of the giver of life, found an angel who was seated upon the stone, and the angel addressed them, and this is what he said, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you grieve as though corruptible the incorrupt? So go back and proclaim it to his disciples. This is the day that the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. Pascha of delight, Pascha, the Lord's Pascha. A Pascha all venerable has risen for us. Pascha with joy, let us embrace one another. Pascha the ransom from sorrow. Today the sepulchre Christ emerged resplendently as from a bridal chamber. And the women he filled with joy, saying, Proclaim this to the apostles. Patriarch, oh, 
us be with all. And let us bow our heads to the Lord, our Holy Lord, who both our hearts and our hearts. Church, invisible hand, through the holy place, and bless us all, and if in anything we have sinned, voluntarily or involuntarily, for you as much as you have done, we 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 have Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy and save us. As a good, loving, and merciful God, for the prayers of his most holy and dear mother, the love of mercy, the life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy, glorious prophet and foreigner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious apostles, the holy God, and mothers, the holy, victorious martyrs. Of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Yoakim and Anna, Saint Fulton, the Samaritan woman, and the Sinus, the martyr, and the shepherd, Demetrius, and Paul, and the martyrs, and John, by Christ is risen from the dead by death, and the death of Jesus granted life. 